Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about lookup transformation. So in lookup transformation is a connective, connected and connected transformation. So uh, this topic I will discuss later on. Now I am going to discuss about uh, lookup is uh, passive and active transformation. So before 9.x or uh, lookup I uh, used as a passive transformation but after 9.1 there is one pro uh, there is one property added on lookup the property is a lookup policy on multiple match so use all values so it will return multiple rows depending upon matched condition so after 9.1 acts by uh, this value a uh, lookup uh, acts as an active transformation uh, so let's say uh, this is my source table and this is my lookup table so without a lookup policy match we will get a uh, record like this one and uh, with uh, uh, pol a lookup policy multiple match so by uh, that we will get this one so the definition of, of active transformation is number of uh, rows uh, changed during the transformation so here after uh, go to designer and uh, create uh, one mapping m lkp match or give active test so drag to source or uh, source table and uh, now or uh, take uh, lookup table so our lookup table is in escort schema name is test tube okay so here after select all column of source qualifier and drag into lookup and actual give to so one thing i forget to show you so just delete that one and take so look at the return all value on multiple match so first uh, without uh, uh, checking this i will do the uh, i will do the mapping so here after, uh, after that i will check so there will be, there you will know what's the different uh, between uh, checking and uncheck so without to uh, check i will do so in this terms that will act as a passive transformation because the number of uh, rows gonna rows does not gonna affected uh, in the transformation so that it will act as a passive transformation. So our uh, lookup table is test. So now select to our source qualifier columns to a lookup now take one or uh, target table and drag all lookup columns to target now save the mapping so mapping is in invalid i think i forget to give the condition so now uh, so the mapping is valid so here after go to workflow and uh, create one session as active test so my mapping is active test lkp active test so here after mapping 
So source is in Scott schema. So give the use object and uh, this one is in Archa and this one is in Scott as well. Now apply OK. So, uh, click on link task so after set that from. Now I start the task. So we have to connect to workflow monitor as well. Control C. Now I start task once more. So this isn't really status. So look at this session get succeeded and in a source a source qualifier or rows are three and at uh, in target table only uh, three records getting loaded so number of uh, number of record does not affect into the transformation so that in the stamps uh, lookup acts as a passive transformation so now let's uh, make a lookup into active transformation so go to mapping so right here delete uh, this one and uh, take a lookup so here after uh, source as test to and if you select or uh, return all value on multiple match so that will match uh, the record multiple records so that time I think that will work as an active transformation so right here give the condition Okay, first we have to drag source qualifier columns to lookup. Now give the condition id equal to id1 apply. Okay, now drag all columns to target mapping on set and replace that one. Save again. So this one set it. So look up use object Scott. Again save that one. I start the task. So look at that, this times so in target or uh, six rows applied and affected. So number of uh, rows getting changed during the transformation so that lookup this times acts as an active transformation. So in properties, lookup uh, policy on multiple match use all values so this one is the default value use all values so with uh, lookup uh, policy multiple match uh, that will match uh, if the condition match multiple times then that will load into the target but uh, without uh, uh, lookup policy multiple match this is the uh, same source and same uh, only one records uh, will take and that will load into the target so by using uh, with uh, with lookup policy multiple match lookup works as a active transformation so it's done at here thanks for watching see you in next video